All right, guys, so we're at the Battlefield show, and I'm uh, gonna show you guys around, and we're gonna talk to a couple people, so stay tuned. All right, so we have Mike from Osman Reptiles, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you got going on this year? Well, it was a, it was a really good year for me, really busy mm -hmm. year. I produced more clutches than I ever had before. Um, I wish I could use this full time after right. having produced as much as I did this year. Uh, but, you know, I, I love the clown stuff. Um, yep. I don't have a lot of clown stuff here because I've been holding back a ton of clown and that clown stuff. Yes, um, you did. But yeah, I hit on I hit on some cool stuff. The the if you see my Instagram at least, I've shown pictures of the brother to that. The what do they call it? It's the it the Dark Knight. It's the it's the chocolate spot nose clown. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I hit on one of those, and, and Instagram is definitely like that snake. Uh, this snake here, I hit on um, a mahogany pinstripe lab uh. head hide. That thing's pretty cool. I can't I can't get my my phone camera to give it the justice. But yeah, yeah. Like solid orange with like this stripe down the back. It's really cool. Yeah, um, man. Missed you, out on my clown pie project, though. But. Yeah. <laughs> did you uh, produce any tri stripes this year? So I think I did. I cut a clutch, and yes, for all people who don't like cutting, I couldn't help myself. I wanted to cut yeah. before I came to the show, just in case I hit on something. Yeah. Um, it was my visual tri stripe to a uh, cinnamon head that I had produced myself and held back. That's and awesome. I think again, I, I did cut right before, like literally last night. I'm pretty sure there's at least two tri stripes in there, and I think. There's at least one cinnamon tri stripe in there. That's awesome, man. So yeah, I'm, I'm finally getting some visuals. I have a ton of double head stuff I produced this year and last year, and I've been growing it up. I was just telling someone else, two, three years, check out my tri stripe stuff. It's oh yeah, awesome, but I'm dude, still you, like two, three years away. Yeah, it's, you produced a lot this year, so it's exciting. Yeah, but thank you, thank you. Thanks, man. Great seeing you here, and I hope you have a great show. Great seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're with Robert Leader, and uh, what do you got going on here? What I have here is, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's it was a black pastel or a black granite to what was sold to me as a normal female. Uh -huh. And I produced two of these with the crazy black granite pattern. Yeah. And then I got three same colors with not the crazy pattern. Yeah. And then we got um, two yellow and black. Right. But there was no no pastel, no yellow belly. Not sure what else. So right. I'm keeping the clutch and we're gonna see what we can get this year, next year. Yeah, no, it's it's cool. It's, you know, I, I'm glad because we've talked about this project a, a bit and I think it is a fun dinger project. Everybody has to have a dinger project. Yep. This one's a cool one. I like it. So you enjoying the show? It's just starting pretty much and Yeah, so far. Getting rolling, so. Very cool. Hey. Right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Make sure you guys check out Robert Leader. It's on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. Cool stuff. Hey guys. All right, we got Courtney from CD Exotics. She's come visiting the show. Yes. So what cool stuff have you seen today? Um, well, I haven't gotten around to everything yet, but I definitely have seen some uh, some nice uh, calico stuff. Yeah. Sugar things. There's lots of like geckos, and uh, I saw some lychees that were really nice. That's definitely a direction I'm looking to go is get some more of the New Caledonia stuff. Oh, absolutely. So. We're huge into it. We love the lychee stuff. We haven't gotten any, but can't wait to do it. Yeah. There's the so, price tag is the only thing that's been holding me back so far. <laughs> yeah. It's funny when you first start out, you're like, oh my goodness, $200 for a snake. And then you're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I just spent $6,000 on a exactly, snake. So exactly. It's all relative. Yep. <laughs> but So you're having a good time? Yeah. 
Yeah, all right. It's, it's definitely lots of people here, so it's a really good turnout for all the vendors. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Make sure you guys go watch your stuff. So we're gonna close it up. CD Exotics. <laughs> we're gonna close it up. Say, say, uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Do the do a, a closeout. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe on my channel and over at R&B Reptiles. <laughs>
um, will be in display, will be done um, so that it will be here for 100 years, you know, after I die kind of thing. Well, I mean, honestly, Ty, a lot of people put a lot of their life into this hobby, and a lot of them will be forgotten. And I can only imagine the amount of stress you've gone through the last couple of years in the building process of this. Um, I know we talk now and again, and you are nonstop out there doing a project every single day. So, um, you know, I know that balance has got to be really tough. And then, you know, Jordan was just born. I know you're trying to get out there to see him as much as possible, which I don't blame you. You don't want to miss out on too many of those years. But I'm sure it's going to be a relief when you finish this all up and get to see those first few people come through the door and see everything. Um, I mean, I'm sure that's going to be a gratifying feeling that not many people can really understand in this hobby. Yeah, I just want people to be patient. It's, it's a long process. It's coming because I want it, it to be like, you know, something that people are going to come in and say, say, wow, kind of thing, you know. I don't want to do it. Uh, I, I want this place to be something that people will be proud of, just like I will be, you know. I'm building only for this community, uh, and I want people to be proud of it. And I, I want them to be part of this. Yeah, thank you so much. I, uh, so people, if you're listening or hopefully you're watching this, uh, if you were just listening on one of the podcasts, you should probably go over to YouTube and watch this to get the full effect because uh, Ty just walked us around and, and there's just a lot of amazing things going on and there's a lot more to see. So reach out to Ty if you have any questions or if you have any donations, things like that that you want to do. on, And you'll see the uh, links in the description below. And uh, reach out even if you're just saying, hey, we support you, let Ty know. Because this is a, a big job, it's a big undertaking, and and uh, you know we all share the love here in our community and, and in this industry. So thank you. I really so much appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. And so make sure everybody's liking, sharing, and subscribing. And then when this opens, you got to go visit. So yeah, absolutely, go do that. Well, thank you again. Thank you again, thank you so Ty. Much. You be safe, bud. Yep. Thanks, Ty.